Hello, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about food webs. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and I've drawn myself a simple food web. I've got down here my producer, my flowering plant, what's I called an angiosperm. Uh, I've then got a primary consumer, this case being the ant. There is actually two primary consumers because we've also got a snail over here. We've then got a secondary consumer up here, which is the bird. And depending on where you go in the food chain, it's either a secondary consumer, the cat here, one, two, three, secondary consumer, or it is the tertiary consumer, one, two, tertiary consumer here. And this is a simple food web. Now we can actually split up this food web into several food chains, three in fact. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna do this nice simple one here. So we can have the plant, which is eaten by the ant, which is then eaten by the cat. That's following this bit up here, nice simple food chain. But there's another food chain here as well. Because instead of being eaten by the cat, it might be eaten by the bird. So we also have the plant to the ant, to the bird, to the cat. Which is that, 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 that. So we've got a food chain there. And the final food chain we can have is involving the snail. So we've got our plant going to our snail, going to our bird, going to our cat. So hidden inside our simple food web is in fact three food chains.